Hello and welcome to the chart of the month from Silicon Valley Mobility for December 2020. All right, here we are at the end of the year that we will remember for many reasons. Sure, some things turned out in ways unimaginable. Others simply did not happen at all. In the mobility space, we might remember 2020 as the year when electric vehicles reached the inflection point. Looking at the numbers as we speak, Europe reports around 10% of new cars sold being electric. In late summer, even more than diesel cars. And meanwhile in the US, Tesla Model 3 is now consistently among the top 5 best-selling cars that is just among evergreens like Toyota, Camry and Corolla, as well as Honda, Accord and Civic. Impressive for sure. But before the e-aficionados among us pop the bottle of champagne now, let's be clear. Europe offered incentives to help the stumbling automotive industry specifically aimed at electric vehicles. And also, keep in mind that those numbers often include plug-in hybrids as well. Something I suggested already years ago, but that also means it is not all battery electrics. The US sees cars as a shrinking segment. Pickups and SUVs actually continue to grow as a market while cars don't. And as someone put it recently in one of these countless webinars, anything below $35,000 doesn't sell well. Speaking about being modest. Now, beyond those numbers in the EU and United States, there's more that made 2020 the year of the electrics. In April, I talked about who wants to be the next Tesla. Then in summer, we saw a series of those spec and reverse mergers, which I covered in August. For sure, a lot of hype around EV companies and their appeal to investors and tinkerers alike. Well, since then, the spec trend seems to have drifted into LiDAR land. Let's see where that's going. So where are EVs headed now? I just saw this report from Bloomberg New Energy Finance. They find that the average battery pack price is now around $137 per kilowatt hour. That means clearly below the $150 that was seen as the inflection point some 10 years ago. What's more, Tesla is now a member of the S&P 500 and actually the most valuable company in that index right after Facebook, Alphabet, Amazon, Microsoft and Apple. Speaking of which, just the other week we got news that Apple will have an EV with a breakthrough battery in 2024. Taking all those observations together and sorting them into those projection categories I talked about at the beginning of the year, I would say it is certain that EVs are here to stay. Probable that EVs and plug-in hybrids gain market share in the United States around 5%, Europe around 8%, China 10% by 2025. And possible that EVs will be dominant by 2030. We shall see. But whatever 2020 was, it seems like EVs got much closer to mainstream. Let's keep going in that direction. Here's to a good 2021. Keep innovating.